Hi, it's me again. One of the things that I've been picking up quite a bit recently are criticisms about my accent. I was born in Barry in the Vale of Glamorgan and I've got a bit of a flat accent. I've got a bit of Somerset there. But when I'm in full conversation, you can tell I'm from Barry. And if I'm speaking with somebody who speaks in a Welsh accent anywhere, I usually follow into that accident, accent because I'm an actor as well. And I follow that accent. Now, uh, I can converse in Shadow Cymraeg. And when I'm conversing in Shadow Cymraeg, that's when my accent comes out. I've, I, I find that criticism of, of that, that there was this one person sort of baiting me on here and which I, which I've sort of, um, sort of hopefully blocked them. Um, and one of those trolls basically saying, well, um, why are you pretending to put on a Welsh accent? Um, and I'm thinking, just silly. It really is. You know, it, it's what I'm saying. And if you don't like what I'm saying, just just listen to somebody else. You know, you're not forced to sign into my YouTube channel. So that said, I wanted to continue the flow and how are Laprice? Most people have never heard of him. And 1532 captured Glandavry Castle and a, a number of other locations in West Wales. And I do believe the rebellion did spread to North Wales. This was in the reign of Henry VIII, 1536 as the Act of Union. And even, you know, I've, I've got this, this little book here, History of Wales. And this is actually written by Morian, um, Morian Morgan, Pont Priest. And mo most of his works and books have basically been sort of barred from... You know, he says a lot of good things in his publications. And this is from the turn of the 1900s. So we, we come in, we, we come into the act of full union by 1536. That's quite strange that we've got this rebellion in 1532. Morian says nothing that I can make out from here. Um about this character, Howlap Reese. But there is another there is another individual called um Sir Rice Thomas Fitz Urian. He was executed in fifteen thirty two. And that's interesting. So there are things going on in fifteen thirty two that that are quite strange. That Howlap Reese if you if you look at any information on the internet about Landavery Castle, you, you will come up with the name Howard Apries. You'll come up with him. He's there. You won't find much, but you'll find him there. And so obviously the last major full Welsh rebellion, whatever you want to call it, did take place. So the last one was not the Owen Glyndwr independence movement in the early 1400s there was 130 years later but we've got very little information about it so i i i, I there is more that i know why right? i do know more but i want to make another video about that but i don't know a lot more that's the point that there's like another i could talk for another two minutes on the howl police and that's it that's all I've got. 
And that happened to be in one of these oldie worldy books, not on the internet. Uh, how I came across him, it, it was doing some research about Landovery Castle, reading books, and there was something online, and that was it. It's odd. Anyway, um, we, we should actually come back to this, this chap, um, Morrie and Morgan again, actually. Sorry, I just put the book away. I was going to say something else about um, Owen Thalgorth then. Um, and it, it, it would be interesting to sort of look at these types of books because it's these types of books that the likes of Black and Wilson uh, were looking at and um, getting some of their inspiration from for their work and obviously good old Ross Broderstock as well. So the the whole thing if if you if if you look at the the one thing that was mentioned right was about Owen Owen Claugoch, right? And you can type in Owen Claugoch and and it's great you you've got a you got a Wikipedia entry about him, right? But there's nothing about how Lapris. And I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the usual thing, you know. Who's the best person in Welsh history? You know, I'm not gonna sort of play historical figures against each other. But the 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 one point about the one point about Owen Claugoch and Chawla Police. Owen Claugoch is assassinated. 22nd of July, 1378. That's what it's got here. 1378. So, 20, 21 years before the Owen Glendur got a bit peed off and decided to, um, um, you know, try to defend the king that had been locked away, Richard II, and then decided then to go on his own path. But the point I'm trying to make is that where... Owen Claugoch failed to launch his invasion to claim the kingdom and kingship of Cymru because his great grandparents were Llewellyn the Great, Gruffydd ap Llewellyn ap Yorath. So that takes his, his, his great grandparents um, sort of going all the way back into the sort of the 1240s, isn't it? So, so sort of, sort of great, great grandparents, really. Um, so, Owen Laugoch is, for me, um, a figure that, what, uh, that didn't get to the aspiration that um, that Owen Glendur had got to, with actually being on the ground and doing something in Cymru, and the likes of Howell Abbey in fifteen thirty two. But you know, I think I think if you even I know you know it's Wikipedia, right? But sometimes you can scroll through this stuff and think, right, okay, you've got a Wikipedia entry about this guy. Um, and you think, well, that that's brilliant, and and it, it, it's it's quite it's it's nicely detailed, really. And Owen Hogarth was such a was such a threat that the English king sent out a chap to assassinate him, and yes, assassinated. So we sort of. We sort of go into um, it's a Scotsman, it's a Scotsman who assassinates him, working for the English king called John Lamb, who actually becomes Owen Claugoch's sort of cha chamberlain, sort of confidant, and stabs Owen to death, and again. Quoting a story, a sad end to a flamboyant career. 
assassinated. There's a statue to him in Martin sur Agron in um, Potier in France to him, or in Llaugor. But you're not going to find a statue to, you're not going to find many statues to most of our Welsh sort of heroes, are you? Here. But you see them memorialised in France, or in Llaugor. I don't want to, you know, we, we should come back to Owen Llaw Goch again. He did make a number of attempts to invade with the, um, with the assistance of the Kingdom of Castile and other kingdoms as well. And he, well, a few, few, a little bit before, um, his death in 1378, he, he went on a rampage through Guernsey. And uh, and on the way to Wales, really. And the thing is, would Owen Llaugoch have succeeded? It's a difficult one. I I would probably say no. And the reason why I just say no. I don't know why I'm saying that, but but then again, Owen Klaugoch, like Owen Klaugoch, was one of those military brains, and both of them were soldiers. So. That that's the interesting thing. When, when you look at when you look at uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie, for example, so the sixteenth of April, seventeen forty six, with the Battle of Culloden. Bonnie Prince Charlie wasn't a military man. So the point is, you know, proclaiming yourself king. Is is something that needs to be done by somebody who knows how to fight, really. And the the other thing I would say is I, I want to do, I, I want to look again and obviously, you know, we, we started these conversations, you know, that, that very fateful day not so long ago when Ross passed away so and and I just wanted to sort of mention hidden history again sort of you know the, the two words hidden history and and those that look at the sort of hidden history as well And, do you know, I, I want to, you know, look at coins, the, the, the coins of the kings of Cymru and the princes. I want to look at that. And another character called John Story. He'll come up. Um, but maybe Yolog and Morganog as well. But this thing about hiding, why, you know, uh, let's just spit it out, right? Who's gaining anything by hiding this history anyway? You know, why, why, who, who actually cares really that, that Howell up Reese, you know, did what he did? Why did we just tell people about it? What, what's the big secret, you know? You know, what is the big secret? Just, he did this. You know, there was a rebellion in 1532. Who cares whether it happened in, in 1532? It's there, right? But few people know about it. What What's the big deal? Why don't we just tell people? It's not going to end, it's not going to end the British monarchy, is it? You know? And, you know, the, 
yeah, this thing about coins, right? They 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 were coins minted by by our kings in Cymru, right? And yeah, but we don't talk about them. And it's just thinking, well, why? What's the big deal? It's not going to change history, is it? Or am I just, you know, what is the great conspiracy? Yeah. You know, what's the big deal? You know, what's the big deal sort of going out there telling people about castles built by Welsh kings and princes? You know, they're, they're, you know why can't we tell people? Well, it's not going to change the world, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's not going to, you know, we, we, we find a new castle built by a Welsh prince, right? And we tell people about it. And we, 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 we build a museum there and all the rest of it, right? Great. That's not going to, it's not going to end the world, is it? So why can't we do it? You know? And this stone of Blackett Wilson's uh, from the excavations at uh, Peter's did Super Montem, right? You know, why why bringing it back from the states would it would it sort of change history why would it be destroyed and who what what's the point in destroying it do you know what i mean but but there is something out there stopping this history coming out why what why Anyway, so we'll come back to all this again. So don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been a lot longer one than usual. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join and keep watching. Thank you very much.